Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Journey to Being Vegan. Assalamu alaikum to all the Muslims out there and everybody who is trying to become vegan or vegetarian. Um, as always, I always start off by saying life is beautiful regardless of what you're going through. Other people have a worse off than what you have. So just thank God that he has given you the life and the journey that he has given you to take. So life is beautiful and I am going to begin my channel. So I hope everybody had a good day, good weekend. Um, I had a great weekend, you all. You know, I was in Biloxi, Mississippi, Gulfport, Mississippi, and New Orleans. So I had fun. I enjoyed myself. Even though the weather was like 72 degrees and then it just like dropped down like 32. Yeah, I won't have so much fun then. But hey. So tonight what I'm going to be fixing is something simple. I'm just going to make some, <coughs> some tacos or some fajitas. So I'm going to be using my soft shell quesadilla tacos. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be using my Smart Ground. Yeah, by Light Life. I, I enjoy that. It's so good. So good. So I'm going to be using this too, Smart Ground Plant-Based Crumbles. Really good. Like I told you all, you can fix it up so well that it looks just like ground beef one. Two, you wouldn't even tell the difference once you fix it up. You would think you were eating ground beef, but you're not. You're eating plant-based. Hmm. So I'll be using my liquid smoke to season. Liquid aminos. So some of the things I've already cut up, um, as you can see, I've done my black beans right here. Um, I'm getting ready to fix the smart ground. And as you can see right here, I have cut my cilantro, a little bit of jalapeno peppers, my tomato, and my onions. Now right here is my lemon. Now mind you, you have to, oh, you can, it just depends on what you, what you prefer, what you like. I didn't have limes, went to the store, forgot to get the lime. Hmm. So I make sure I have to get me a bag of organic lime and organic lemon mix. Um, so I'm actually gonna turn on my pan to start fixing my smart ground. And what I'm going to do with this, because right now, this right here that you see on the cutting board with all the pretty colors, the purple, orange, the greens, dark greens, greens, green, greens. Um, I'm making, actually I'm making pico de gallo. Okay. I was going to do homemade guacamole, but um, the avocados was too hard. Um, so I'll pick up some avocado tomorrow and make my homemade guacamole um, with my, uh, hold on. So, I said I was gonna try this. Um, I don't know just yet, but it's jackfruit. And it is teriyaki. So it's by Upton's Natural Barbecue uh, Jackfruit, and it says it's free of gluten, soy, and oil. Good source of fiber and cholesterol free. So I'm actually going to probably fix this tomorrow, and we'll see how it is. So if you guys have had this Upton natural barbecue jackfruit if you've had it it says 100% vegan and you can see right here it says 100% vegan so if you have tried that please let me know in the comments below that's if you have tried that okay um but i will also let you know how it is once i fix it of course so my smart ground i'm just breaking it up some more and uh, small ground is cooking. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but um, it's cooking in my grapeseed oil. Um, so 
while this is while this is cooking I look like I need a little bit more of grapeseed oil I don't want to put too much grapeseed oil right here I don't want to put too much in it so just a little bit this is my bowl that I'm going to be using for, I'm sorry y'all, for my, put my pico de gallo in. So I guess once that, once the smart ground finished cooking, as you can see, um, and then I season it with the liquid smoke and the liquid amino. Then I go ahead and put my pico de gallo I'll put it this way, the cilantro, cilantro, the onions, the jalapeno, and the tomato in the bowl, squeeze of a lemon juice, then it'll be called pico de gallo. But right now it's just, yeah, no, sorry. So uh, you guys, I did post a video up on Facebook um, when I was in Mississippi. I think I posted up several videos when I was in Mississippi. And um, then you know again how real the struggle is for people who are vegan or vegetarian. Oh, do y'all like my shirt? Can y'all see my shirt? It says Superman. You see that right there? But I'm not a man, okay? Um, yeah. They need to make one that says Superwoman, right? For all of the strong ethnic sisters out there who have been holding it down, right? Yeah. But anyhow, um, I am really excited about this juicing that I'm about to do next month, y'all. I'm still debating whether or not I want to do 10 days or 20 days. I might start off real light. I might just do the 10 days. I'm not sure. But, um... I might just go ahead and do the 10 days. And then y'all see my cat back there? Y'all, that's Marley. Marley. See? That's Marley. Yeah. Um, and y'all probably saying, ooh, she on the table. Honey, I don't even eat on that table. That table's for decoration. Okay? Don't even eat on it. So, she okay. Anyhow, um... So it was not vegan friendly down in Mississippi. I was like, wow. It was hard for me to find something. I did, you know, have my organic avocado and grapefruit, but ruby red grapefruit, but I couldn't eat no ruby red grapefruit because it had started decaying in the inside. That's what organic foods do. Now if it was a GMO grapefruit, it would have still been good. Want to change one bit, but um, so so far my journey to eating plant-based raw food—it's—it's it's really it has really been good. It it really has. Um, I don't miss eating vegetarian. Um, so y'all, I'm about to add my liquid smoke into the smart ground. Y'all hear that? And let me tell you something. It smells good. My liquid amino acid. Why do I want to keep saying acid? Sheesh. Liquid amino. Liquid amino. Um. So. I just added the liquid smoke and the liquid amino into the smart ground. Guys, it smells really good. It really does. You know, when I went to Whole Foods tonight, I was talking to the young lady at the cash register. Y'all, look at this. Look good. Smells good. Um, so she was saying, yeah, my aunt would eat, um, vegan. 
She said when she was growing up, her aunt's a vegan. And she was like, I used to go over her house. She said, I used to hate going over because I knew I had to eat. And she was like, none of that stuff tastes good to me. I said, it's all in your mind. I said, you already went over there saying and knowing that I'm not going to eat this. I'm not going to like this because it's vegan. It's not ground beef. It's plant-based. It's not chicken. It's tofu or jackfruit. I, I'm not going to like it. But you can't say you don't like it if you never tried it. You have to try it to like it. To well, to determine if you like it. Okay? Um, my biggest thing is, like I said, I thought I was going to um, kind of like backslide. You know, going home. And my mom, you know, I have to warm up my, my um, black beans. And, you know, my mom can cook, right? So, I thought I was going to be like, oh, my mama cooking and all that good stuff. But, you know what? I was pretty good. It, I went home and I was pretty good with it. You know, I still stuck by what I was, what I'm doing and how I've been eating. So, I think within probably six months of being a solid vegan um, I'm going to probably change my YouTube channel's name journey to being vegan to being vegan for six months and then vegan for a year and then after that a vegan you know I, I think I would have graduated by then so so right now guys I'm going to put all of this my cilantro Uh, jalapeno peppers. And imagine my daughter don't like spicy foods like talking about it like I do. And I'm going to put my tomato. My tomato in. Okay. Which will be followed by Y'all know what I love a lot of, right? Nothing but these beautiful, these beautiful onion. Yes, I love me some onions, y'all. The benefits that onions do for the body is just amazing. Just amazing. Why does it feel like it took me forever to do this? It really did. So, here's how it looks in my little bowl. You see? So now I'm going to squeeze just the lemon juice because I don't have lime, y'all. I didn't get no lime um, because I kind of sort of forgot about the lime. Um, right now I'm taking out these seeds from the lemon because it kind of like fell in and I don't want to eat no seeded um, pico de gallo. Right? So, yeah. I almost got it y'all. Probably like, why you just didn't get a spoon? I don't know. I just didn't get a spoon, okay? I just did. So I'm gonna stir my pico de gallo up with my lemon juice, not lime juice. You know, limes, they do give it a better flavor, but lemon does the same thing, you know? That's the same thing. Okay, so this is how it looks all mixed up. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I cannot wait until I eat. 
so let me move this back a little bit okay yeah okay so I have to get another pan out and I have to get another pan out because I have to heat up my my fajita right so sorry y'all I'm still moving the camera all over um like I said I'm still a work in progress so yeah it says to pull apart oh yeah this is it. look at that and then you can just bend it back and seal it look at that okay um old El Paso yes Yes. Grapeseed oil, oil again to brown the fajitas. I guess I'll put one in at a time, right? So, how is everybody doing though? I didn't hear nobody said they were doing fine or anything like that. I do hope everybody is doing great, wonderful. And know that life is beautiful, honey. Life is beautiful. It really is. No need to fret, fuss, or anything like that. Go on about your day. Thank God that he woke you up this morning. Started you on your way, honey. 2020. I can't wait to do my 2020 reset with juicing, eating raw, plant-based. Best decision I could have made, y'all. It really is the best decision I could have made. I'm glad I made this decision to go from vegan, vegetarian to vegan. I thought it was going to be difficult, but this is day 19. So really, this fall will be one year of being vegan and eating plant-based <laughs> glory yes one year and i'm and i'm i'm so glad i'm so happy um that i've made it you know i'm just glad i've made it y'all I'm, I'm putting my um fajitas in the little bowl right here you know I think I'm going to do three, so then when my daughter comes in, she can just go ahead and eat two of them, because I'm just going to eat one. That's all I'm eating. Yeah, I'm just eating one. Browning it, browning it up. Yep. One more, you all. Then I can close it back and seal it. Yes. Simple. Simple. And it's sealed. Put that right there. Y'all, dinner is almost done. Almost done. Yes. Yep. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is um, I'm going to put mine on the cutting board. Right here. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to put it right there. Let it cool off a, a little bit because I really don't like hot food. Um, well, not hot to the point where you can't eat it. I need my food to be hot to the point where I can eat it. Okay? So, I just wish I could have made that guacamole. Ooh. Anyhow. So, I'm going to take my smart ground Put some right here like so. 
Can y'all see? I know y'all can't see because I'm really close up to the camera, right? So, oh, y'all, I didn't drop my camera.